Cove, that's fine. I finally got my package in. This is the knockoff Model 80 case. And I will refer to using the name for now, but let's just say there was a nice person out of Florida who decided to send this to me. Um, I'll, without me even paying them, I will have to. I will pay it back, I promise. And this literally got here eh, half an hour ago, a little bit less. And basically, as soon as I can get the tripod set up, here we are. So, I'm going to open this up, and we're going to have our looks at it. Uh, box is definitely... Uh, Kind of padding that is, but I'm trying to see. But I think it's really expensive stuff. Or oh, maybe they got it from there. Almost looks like carpet pad. Conscious, I will keep patting. See it. I will use bubble wrap.
Könnte, ne? Ja. Oh, that is perfect. They're sisters. Oop, it's far back as this. Oh, that's a little obvious where they got the styling ideas from. I don't think they have two parallel ports. That might be scuzzy. Ah, uh, and look. Originally, the person that posted this on Vogons mentioned that it was locked. And I expressed my interest no matter what. I had to have this thing. And, you know, I can get into a locked case. Not a problem. holding it in the front. Maybe it's this front panel comes off. screws in here. Okay, this front panel will come off. Okay. Okay. Yeah, just like that. Rusty. 
Bay here. We can peek inside there. Uh, Connor 2420. So 242 megabytes, which is exactly what I'd expect. Uh, the back numbers here on the back showed that it was the case. That's definitely a modem. And that's definitely some kind of interface card. Uh, video and our multi thing. Those are 72 pin sims. That's L2 cache. That's a 486. Oh. Oh. Let's pull it out and see what we got. Might avoid the warranty. We have a DX266. That's a lot, you know, that's a lot faster than I thought this was. I mean that's got it's got VLB slots. I was something I was completely expecting a late. Uh, 386 or very early 486, maybe even a high end 2, but uh, this is different than what I was expecting. Uh, I haven't seen nails rams. Let's spray this thing off. Illuminate. I suspect in all likelihood, in fact I know, that the battery needs looking at. They always need looking at. So let's go ahead and get these cards out of the way. Have a gander at the motherboard proper. SFMDM4824. Uh, I would like to. I would like to believe that's probably a 4800, 2800 baud, 4800, 2400. Uh, those are useless anymore. Sad. That is a, a second parallel card. Okay, so I have to think it's scuzzy and it's actually another second parallel. Almost looks homemade. Almost looks homemade. Alright, we have a Trident. 8900D. These things are... Well... 
as long as they work, they're okay, but... Yeah... Leave a lot to be desired in terms of performance. I mean, they'll get your look at the job done. Don't get me wrong, but I'm just connecting. That is just a generic red bottom controller. Behold the glory of a new sun! Oh yeah. We've got a leaker. Let's get her out of there and see how much damage has been done. We got some traces. We got some bad traces. Uh, let's clip that. It's going to take some fixing. Uh, it's going to take some fixing. It's step two. One big by 36. So that was a small sim. That's a shame. Okay. I'll have to make uh, another video see if I can't repair this board. Uh, until then, that's it's pretty much hosed. Uh, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. You know, I chipset. Uh, 
just gave us cash. I mean, it looks like a relatively looks like it would have been a relatively nice 46, but shame. All right. Well, let's move on. Let's set this to the side for now, and we'll have a look at the rest of the inside. Nine eighty nine fifteen fifty six ninety nine fifteen sixty yep, so that's four hundred and twenty five megs. Hmm. How much I did my math on? Uh Colorado two fifty tape drive. Those things are you know, as often as I've seen the drives, you would think that the tapes would be all over the place. I, I don't think I have one. I don't think I've even seen a proper tape for this. As often as I see the drives. I've had a hell of a lot of harder cases to work on. Mitsubishi MF504C. Up there. I think that's a 1.4. To be honest, I'd genuinely surprised if it was a 360. And a 46. Hmm. Late model, 40, or 5 and a quarter drive.
Let the test sit in. Okay, hopefully I didn't lose too much. Uh, the battery died on my camcorder. Um, probably just sad to say, but I don't feel anybody's going to want that tape drive. Uh, but overall, the case is really clean on the inside. I mean, I got, I was told that it wasn't. I mean, I was told that it wasn't, but that is, it's actually, I've seen a hell of a lot worse cases. That's I mean, still really sad about the motherboard, though. Uh, I mean, yeah, it probably was a generic board. Does it say who's it made by? VLB forty six EL two. I mean, those these markings seem familiar. It's probably a. I'll look it up. Yeah, real shame about that motherboard, though. Right, let's see. I mean, the feet work. I mean, just like the Model 80, that's, that's solid. Big room for a big fan. Oh, uh, 92? I have a 92. Yeah, 92. <sighs> Turbo, reset. Oh yeah, let's listen to that. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that's a, that was a nicely built case. I gotta try something. Normally I would plug my camera in and let it charge and then come back, but I want to get this shot ASAP. So I had to switch the camera over, but I wanted to see if this little guy fit. This is my second favorite motherboard, the Asus P65 UP5. I have the big brother, and this is the little one. Baby. Behold the glory of a new sun. <laughs> I like that. Apologize for the reflection. It looks horrible on the camera.
see if it clears. The hardest thing I ever had with this P65 EP5 was finding a case where it didn't just bash, the CPU card didn't just bash into the hard drives. Well, I got floppy drives here and I got the hard drives up here. So let's find it. So I'm going to set it in there. Uh, this is the ultra rare uh, dual slot one card for this motherboard. I thought I picked up the uh, I thought I picked up the the dual socket A or uh, socket A, but no, that's my slot A motherboard. Uh, it must be sitting over there in one of the boxes. I hope I didn't sell it. Either way, I mean, the Pentium 2 board is going to be larger than the Pentium Pro board. So let's just set this. Oh, there it goes. Which is right there. We're just going to set this in the general location. Oh, 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 she fits. Well, the pinion, uh, you can't. Now, this is not going to clear with the slot ones, because uh, obvious reasons, but it will clear with the pinion pros. So I can get my pinion pro card in this thing. With this motherboard. Oh yeah. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put this that's what this system's gonna be. It's gonna be the little brother to the big one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm gonna have to uh, now there's one issue and that is this uh, front bay here. It looks like you have two three and a half inch base just like you would on the Model 80 but just like on the Model 80 they have proprietary face plates so no matter what I do I'm not going to have the face plates for those I mean, unless there is some sort of fucking magic that happens, I'm not going to get those face plates, which means I'm going to have to, I only get two drive bays. Well, one's not going to be a CD. You can't really mount a CD horizontal or vertical. Well, think about it. I'll have to piece this together. Look at all that reflection. It's a... 90 degrees outside. That's why the fan's running. But yeah, it's. I'm gonna put this back together. I'm gonna see what's on the hard drive, and I'll show you here in just a moment. 